Hey everybody, this is Omye, and um, it's been a long time, and I just want to come on today and say happy holidays to everyone. It is Christmas out here in Cambodia, but um, it's kind of just like another day out here, but <laughs> inside it's Christmas for me, and, and I wish that I could be at home with my family, but um, you know, it's always next year. But um, happy holidays to you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your time. So, you know, some people go out of the country on vacation. Some people watch TV, some people just relax. But Onye, Onye messes with her hair, okay? So um, during this Christmas break, I actually redid one of my wigs and here it is right here. This is my wavy C blend. I, I'd call it medium luster, but it's closer to the low luster side. So I say it's just a mix of the two. Um, longest length is 18 inches. It's probably the shortest <laughs> I'll ever go. But um, I love this length. It's just very natural. And this luster, this is like my all-time favorite luster. This is going to be a tutorial on how I achieve this look right here. Now, let me warn you guys. There was a lot of heat used. You know, this, <laughs> this luster is beautiful, but it does require some heat to get it straight. I mean, I think I went through it. Well, you're going to see. I went through it a lot of times with this. And this was a two-day process. Yeah, it's a two-day process. But um, I hope you guys would agree that there was, <laughs> that it was all worth it because I am in love, in love with this hair. In love. And you guys know I don't do short, so this hair must be something else. <laughs> all right, that's enough talking. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here I am getting ready for the battle. Yes, this was a battle. <laughs> so um, as you can see, there is quite a bit of hair on my head. I would say maybe 10 to 12 ounces, mm -hmm. maybe more. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a comb through it just to get the curls out as much as I can because they're quite defined. Well, actually not curls, I'm sorry, wave. They're quite defined and they don't really like to go anywhere no matter what I do, So, which is a good thing. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of hair. Okay, so to help out a little bit, I'm going to take the blow dryer I was hoping that it would, you know, straighten it out a bit. No. <laughs> it didn't do that. All it did was make my hair even larger. So I finally realized that the blow dryer just wasn't going to do anything but make my hair bigger. <laughs> so I stopped and had a little fun right here. <laughs> and so now it's time for the fun part, flat ironing. So I used my Baby Bliss Pro TT and I got this from Brain Fart right now. I've been in Cambodia too long. What is it? TJ Maxx. <laughs> and it was only twenty something dollars. Twenty something dollars. I, I can't remember how much, but that was a darn good deal. And it goes up past four hundred and sixty five degrees. When you have hair like this, you need something that gets that hot. <laughs> And y'all already know that I would go out with my hair looking like this because it's just so me. So big, lovely. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to straighten it out. And um, what I'm going to do is just tie it into a ponytail and just take it section by section. Now this process took a long, long time. So I'm just not even going to make you guys suffer through it because I have to do it twice. This is the first one. And by the time I finish this first round, I lost the light. So I had to come back the next day but um, I'll let you guys see how I straighten out a few a few of the pieces <laughs> so this was the very next day I mean, that is medium low luster for you. It, it, it swells sometimes. So um, the next morning, I had to go back through with the flat iron. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's just a, a quick pass, nothing too serious. And still, it was already straightened the day before. But um, yeah, so just taking big chunks and going to town. We're not going to sit through this. We're just not. <laughs> I, I went through the entire head until I got a more sleeker look. All right, 
and there you have it it's still a little big um <laughs> but that's that luster for you um this is actually a sweet spot for me because when i get the curls in it it's gonna have a lot a lot of body and um, it's gonna look really natural because of the luster so i went off um behind the camera and pulled out my leave out hair so i'm going to be using the same flat iron excuse my silliness you guys already know just a random bubble of randomness <laughs> So, um, I think the hardest part of this was getting that red clip to stay in my hair, honestly. <laughs> so I'm going to take it section by section, brush it out a bit. And start curling. first two attempts were absolute fails. <laughs> I don't know, whenever I curl my hair with a curling iron, it always takes me a minute to, you know, get back into the groove of things, so, yeah, fail, but I got it together, just, <laughs> I decided to just flip the, the flat iron around. Once I finished up the left side, I headed on over to the right side. Or the reverse, I'm not quite sure how it's going to show up on camera. But um, yeah, that took no longer than 15, 20 minutes. For some reason, my right side looks a whole lot better than my left side, but that's okay. No discrimination over here. It's going to turn out all right. So after I finished curling, it was on to the most difficult part cutting I absolutely hate cutting my hair I hate it I hate it I hate it I hate it um, mainly because you know once you once you uninstall the hair you know and then you install it again you're not gonna get these same layers back you know typically when I take my hair down I put it back in I'm going for a different look so I'm gonna you know sew it in differently and like these little short pieces they're just gonna interfere with that but for the sake of having a balanced, beautiful, flowy install, you know, sometimes you gotta let some hair go. And you guys may not be able to see it on camera, but I'm crying a little bit. I am. I shed a few tears with every snip. It hurt. It hurt. <laughs> so I'm pretty much, you know, just finding out where I want that top layer to fall. Then I'm taking my razor, crying, and snipping. <laughs> It hurt. It really did hurt. You guys don't understand. But I, I always try to cut a little bit longer than necessary because it's always good to have a little room for error. You know, because if you cut too short, that's it. <laughs> but if you cut it a little bit longer, you can always go in and amend.
go back in with that curling iron and just finish it up. Make sure that everything is laying properly. If I need to go back and cut, I won't. <laughs> I just make it work. Um, so yeah, there I am acting silly. Don't mind me. As you can see, the layers really, really help round out this look. Because before I cut that piece, it was kind of just flat on top, and I absolutely hate that, especially with a style like this where it's all going back. It's already boring. So if you want to spice it up, you know, you definitely want to put the layers in there. And that is pretty much it. There I am admiring my work. <laughs> Still crying on the inside. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, you guys. And it took me two days because, <laughs> I don't know, it just took me two days. But ordinarily, it shouldn't take more than maybe 45 minutes to an hour. When you have nothing else to do, you kind of just take your time, <laughs> which is what I did. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a ball, a blast making it. And I, like I said, I love, love my hair love my hair and there's no closure involved <laughs> i decided to give closures a break for a while so this one is more of a natural look natural with a whole lot of hair um, <laughs> you know what i love what i really love about this hairstyle is it's just very versatile so um i don't know if you guys can see there are some shorter pieces in here so i i sew those onto the underside of my my wig so that i can wear it in a ponytail if i choose right now i don't have any hair out in the back but um I can if I wanted to pull my hair out and wear this in a ponytail. Okay? It's just very, very, very versatile. I love it. I freaking love it. <laughs> All right, I'm out. And don't forget to subscribe, of course. All right, till next time. Bye.